Hello, I'm Edgar Kramer from Soundstage Australia. Today I'm bringing you another episode in the lead-in series where I preview uh, a product which will be subsequently reviewed on Soundstage Australia. Today I bring you the just-released Wilson Audio Alexia V, a big, big improvement from, or change, um, from the previous Alexia Series 2, which I owned and I also own the Alexa Series 1. So I have a, a fairly comprehensive uh, understanding of what the Alexia platform is doing across the various generations. I start talking to you about the drivers, um, which uh, the Twitter, for example, has been changed to the uh, new um, convergent Synergy Carbon Twitter, which is... Uh, the, t the tweeter that was first introduced in the Alex V. And this has, among other improvements, has a, a 3D printed carbon fiber rear chamber, which uh, Wilson prints, prints in, in house. And the, the next very, very important uh, driver technology is uh, in the Alexia V is the new Quadramag uh, Alnico magnet driven. Uh, motor that is in the new mid-range driver, uh, which that was introduced for the XVX. And that, uh, without, I'll, I'll talk about sound quality a little bit later on, but it's, Alnico drivers traditionally have been associated, for whatever reasons, with um, a very uh, sweet, tonally rich, uh, easy uh, sound, but at the same time being able to have some very strong dynamic capabilities. Um, I'll talk about that in a, in a minute. The 8-inch, uh, 200mm and 250mm 10-inch drivers for the base are basically uh, the same, or they seem to be the same as in the Series 2 Alexia. Of course, uh, with the introduction of the new drivers, uh, the crossover had to be redesigned and obviously has been improved. Uh, one notable thing about the a crossover design is that for the first time on the uh, Alexia platform, there's the introduction of the uh, audio capex um, capacitors, which are built in house. So that's sort of more or less about the drivers and the crossover. The enclosure uh, of the Wilson Alexia V has also been improved, um, and now it features uh, V materials uh, or V material on the top panel of the woofer and the top panel of mid-range mid -range driver. And amongst those proprietary materials that uh, Wilson Audio uses, uh, in the Alexia V, we have a mix of X material and S material as well. So it's an optimized platform for the driver configuration and for the concept, and in, ter in terms of its cabinet design and mix of materials, that uh, Wilson or proprietary materials that Wilson Audio uses. While talking about the enclosure, uh, I should mention that uh, the internal volume of uh, both the uh, woofer section and the mid-range section has been increased a little bit, and that, according to Wilson, in terms of the mid-range, has opened up the mid-range a little bit more, uh, and in terms of the bass, it's kind of firmed up the things uh, as well, and I'll talk about that a little bit in the... Uh, in the sound quality section of the video. Also, the alignment, the various alignment uh, uh, procedures and schemes that are, are both on the tweeter module and the mid-range module um, in relation to the woofer module, uh, that all has been refined. Uh, so there's extra increments and uh, more, pre more precision involved in the alignment process. And uh, another thing about the materials used, and this is more of an aesthetic thing as well as maybe providing a little bit of extra uh, stiffness to the enclosure. But the uh, rear panel's access window to uh, the crossover resistors, um, that that housing for the resistors now features carbon fibre, which actually looks great and I'm sure has uh, some sort of uh, beneficial properties for uh, in terms of resonance and cabinet uh, vibration control. Nice touch on top of the woofer module is a built-in bubble level, which uh, makes it a lot easier to level the speaker um, and you know without having to use an, you know, your own 
but uh, you know, it's just an added touch which uh, makes it a little bit easier in terms of turning the sparks and so on uh, and getting a, a proper level on the woofer. Uh, about the spikes, an interesting thing, also an introduction for the first time in the Alexia platform um, are the uh, uh, Wilson Audio acoustic diodes, which are a combination of stainless steel and V material. And the idea behind those is, is they provide additional uh, decoupling or coupling um, between the woofer enclosure, the diode itself, and then via the spike to the surface where the uh, speaker is sitting on. Um, and from subjective uh, kind of subjective opinions uh, in in the past uh, from users, um, it seems to have made a noticeable uh, worthwhile difference in terms of bass nuance and tightness uh, and overall dynamic range of the bass. I haven't done an AB um, other than to comparing the previous uh, Alexia Series 2 to the current uh, Alexia V uh, in an overall context. Um, and I'll talk about the bass because that's one of the uh, biggest differences between Series 2 and, and Series V. As far as specifications, there have been some minor changes between uh, Alexia Series 2 and Alexia V. Uh, the Alexia V goes a little deeper, 19 hertz to 33 kilohertz, plus or minus 3 dB. Uh, it's just very marginally easier to drive. Uh, I think the, uh, the minimum uh, impedance point is about 2.59 ohms as opposed to 2.5, I think, ohms in the previous series. And that's around about the 84, 85 hertz mark. Uh, so any good quality uh, solid state uh, power amplifier or integrated amplifier will, will drive it easily and get the most out of the uh, base qualities, substantial base, base qualities that uh, either Alexa, Alexia V can uh, provide. As far as other specifications, uh, it's a little bit more uh, efficient. Where the Series 2 was 89 dB, the Alexia V is 90 dB, so a little bit extra efficiency there. And that is round about the, the, the more important specifications that I'll talk to you about today. Uh, and now I'll talk to you about the sound quality. Okay, I, going from Series 1 to Alexia Series 2, there were obvious, obviously improvements. Some of them were a little subtle and some of them were quite noticeable. Uh, going from Series 2 to, to Alexia V has been a tremendous change. Um, I don't go too much into sound quality in these videos because I leave that for the review. But uh, if you had to summarise two or three of the major changes between Series 2 and Alexia V, uh, I'd say number one would be the bass quality is just tremendously tight, powerful and punchy and extremely nuanced. You can, every detail can be heard along the lines of uh, speakers that have usually been very, very strong in the bass uh, and that's usually a sort of sealed box sort of approach to, to, to bass. Uh, it's along the lines of that. It's very, very impressive bass. And uh, I think, in my opinion, a big improvement from uh, Series 2. Then the second thing would be uh, the amount of both mid-range and high-frequency detail that uh, Alexia V is capable of. It's very detailed without losing any of that uh, previous tweeters' uh, sweetness. So, and, so, and, and, and through the mid-range, there's incredible... Uh, tonal richness. So between the excellent mid-range driver and the tweeter, this is something very, very special from the bass on up. And then, as I said, with the quality of bass now, it's it's a very, very well uh, rounded and co coherent uh, design. Third thing I would probably mention, I said three, so I better, I, better, I better talk about the third element of this thing, is the uh, soundstage height which I found was probably a little bit improved from the Series 2. Uh, it seems to be more realistic in terms of uh, layers of height. Um, soundstage width and, um, and depth 
are along similar lines as series two. Um, more testing to come on that, and and I'll obviously talk to you about um, those and other many of the many qualities of the speaker in the review to come. So watch out for that. So to wrap up now, um, the Alexia V, in my opinion, is a marked improvement on the uh, previous series, the Alexia Series 2, and it's, it takes platform to another level. And someone, someone said that they felt the Alexia V could almost be seen as a, a mini Alex V rather than an improved or rather than uh, a continuation of the uh, previous Alexia series with minor improvements. No, it's a major improvement that takes it up quite a few notches. Um, so I'll obviously be talking to you uh, about that. Now, the other thing I mentioned last is the build quality of the entire platform is uh, outstanding from the paint finish to the material choices to the finish on the metal parts. Um, there aren't, there's no plastic bits. It's, it's all uh, stainless steel, aluminium. Uh, the enclosure is super heavy as per the previous generations, as per Wilson audio speakers in general. Um, so it's, it's something that you'll, you'll value, not only for the pleasures it gives you in terms of sound quality and performance, but also in terms of appreciating its intrinsic um, uh, materials value. Uh, so stay tuned for the review to come. Um, and uh, thank you for watching.